Hello YouTube, this is Phantom Roy, and welcome to round three of Madden Madness. Only four games left. In this tournament, it's win or go home and anything can happen. It's an NFC matchup today in Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the Seahawks, it's the Cowboys, it's Madden Madness, and it's time to get going. Brian Switzer is back to punt. Let's take a look at the bracket so far. This is the last game of round three, round four after this, and then the championship, so things are starting to get pretty good, I say. And the Seahawks will kick it away. Switzer will take the knee. So Seattle will get the ball to start the second half. And here comes Dak Prescott. No touchdowns, but no picks so far. He's got one fumble to his name. And we'll see what Dallas does to start the game. First play is always a tone center. A lot of teams like to just uh, take a running play. Just kind of settle into the game that way. Other teams like to try and catch a napping. They'll run it up the gut with Elliott. And Elliott's got a gain of four. Sets up a second and six. And the Cowboys upset the defending Super Bowl champs 16 to 10 in overtime, and then beat the Redskins 13 to 3 to get here in the third round. To win today, the Cowboys have to get the running game established to create play action opportunities for Prescott. If you keep it obvious against the Legion of Boom, they're gonna kill you. So as I say that, Prescott's gonna throw here, second and six. Alone in the backfield. And he hits the tight end, Jason Witten. It's a gain of six, and it does move the sticks. Cowboys break huddle under 10 seconds on the play clock. Coming out in the eye. First and 10. Ball at the 35. Prescott will throw. And he hits Williams on the slant. Who falls forward for a first down. So Dallas is marching on their first drive of the game. One thing about Seattle you got to remember too is Seattle gets better as the game goes along. Doesn't matter what kind of first, second, or even third quarter you have, or they have. Fourth quarter, Seattle comes to play. Prescott under center, showing run. Prescott to Elliott, and Elliott is blown up in the backfield. It's a loss of two on the play, and brings up second and 13. And that's what the Seahawks have to do. If you can get Elliott out of the equation and make Prescott have to do it himself, whether it's his legs or his arm or a combination of the bull, then I don't think Prescott will be able to overcome. So very imperative for Seattle to stop the running game, and it's very imperative for the Cowboys to get Elliott moving. Elliott on second and 13 gets near a first down. Just a simple run up the gut. Third and two coming up for Dallas, their first third down of the game.
And he's not even touched. Burning formation on third down, and Elliott's blown up in the backfield. So Cowboys can't convert on their first third down attempt of the game. And that's what Seattle wants. They need Elliott out of the equation. And from the 50, Dallas will have to punt. Jones boots it and they like to kick it out of bounds ball comes out to the 24 they'll call it and Wilson Russell Wilson will step onto the field now and get ready to go to work three touchdowns one pick so far in Mad Madness Seahawks offense is five for 14 on third down So, pretty solid offense. See if Dallas, who is rumored to become the next Legion of Boom potentially, let's see if their defense can hold the Seahawks back. Four wide for Wilson. He'll throw. Wilson. It's Richardson on the high pass. And it's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Seahawks break huddle. Just about two minutes left here in the first quarter. And I think Wilson's going to get a first down. It's Demarcus Lawrence. And that's just killer. At least the, the upside of that, though, is if Seattle was able to get that snap off, it could have been a deep chuck down the field, and that could have resulted in bigger in a bigger game than um, All right, but doing it two times in a row, that's never good. <laughs> And so far, Seattle's, it's David Irving this time, and Seattle's got him on, on the leash. Still first down. Winner of this game moves on, loser goes home. Dallas knows this, and maybe they're a little bit nervous. Come on out here start this game those nerves should calm down though Wilson delayed handoff fakes it throws and it looks like Graham got it he did balls caught at the 40 so Wilson's passes have both been outstanding he has thrown the ball high on both of his throws too I'm not sure if that's intentional or not but that's kind of a dangerous rule in football. With Rome High, that's how balls get knocked into the air and intercepted. We keep balls low. So if they bounce, they bounce down, not up. Four wide for Wilson. And it's a handoff to Davis, who has a big hole flag down on the play. He brings it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Possible first down, we'll see what the flag is. So Seattle has an issue with their line. And that's a loss of six. 
And that's one of Seattle's long-standing issues is they're one of the they're all they, it seems like every year they're one of the highest penalized teams in the NFL. Three wide. Wilson, Davis. And Davis only gets maybe a yard on the carry. And here's the Seahawks offense. Dwayne Brown, the ex-Texan. Mike Davis, Baldwin, Jimmy Graham, who's now a Packer. This team's going to look a lot different in 2018. This is kind of their last run. As the Seahawks we know in love slash hate. Davis up the gut. Gets a couple. They're going to say four. And that's going to set up third down and 11 yards to go. So start of the second quarter. We will get Seattle's first third down attempt. End of the first. Tied ball game at zero. All right, we're back. Start of the second quarter. Seattle has a pretty long third and 11. Both of Seattle's passes have been pretty productive. We'll see if they can get a three-peat. Or, for you bowling fans out there, get a turkey. Four wide for Wilson. It's Wilson. Throws, and the ball's too high. Incomplete. And so from the 40-yard line, Seattle will likely try the field goal attempt. Depends on how their kicker's feeling. It's not feeling pretty good, I guess, because they elect a punt. Kicks away. Sailing out of bounds. And it's a good kick. Sails out of bounds at the 8-yard line. And that's where Prescott and company will go to work. Eight seconds into the second from the eight yard line. Dallas will break huddle. Prescott under center. Prescott to Elliott, and Elliott's got a big hole. Stiff arms the defender and is knocked down after a gain of 13. So Elliott has his first big run of the game in his first first down. Acquired by him. And that's Earl Thomas. That's no, that's no easy man to push away like that. Six minutes and 15 seconds left in the first half. Cowboys in the eye, Prescott rolls to his right, throws, and it's incomplete. I think he was trying to get Jason Witten. Four wide, Prescott in the shotgun. Prescott throws toward the sideline, hits Elliott, and Ezekiel Elliott falls out of bounds after a gain of three or four, brings up third down, third and six. 
So the Cowboys weren't able to convert on their last third down attempt. We'll see if they can sort of get on the board in terms of third down conversions. Prescott alone, he will throw. Deep down the middle, he's got Butler. And Butler's brought down, possibly by the face mask, as a flag it is down on the field. Big call coming up on the already g big game. And that'll bring the ball to the 32. Big, big third down. And that's what I'm talking about. If you can get Elliott to make the defenders sort of lose confidence or make them think they're going to run more. What, what, if you can get Elliott to do well, your offense will do well. Prescott under center. Prescott to Elliott. And Elliott has a huge hole. He's alone. Five. Touchdown, Elliott. That's his third touchdown of Mad Madness. And the Cowboys take the lead. And there was no one in the area code. Walk-in touchdown. And that's what the Seahawks could not let happen. They could not let Elliott get going. It's still early, but it's hard to stop that man once he gets going. Extra point is up. It's good. Four plays, 64 yards. Just a minute and a half. And so... Carroll, Pete Carroll now, Jason Garrett. Pete Carroll's used to being down early in football games. He's used to winning them though as well. And the kick's away. Caught at the goal line by Lockett. He's going to run it out past the 20. And he's ultimately going to drop at the 26. So, good decision to run it out. And Baldwin, he's been pretty quiet in this one. He doesn't have a catch yet. Five minutes and 15 seconds left. Running formation for the offense. Wilson will throw out of it though. Roll to his right around a cowboy and spins a defender. And runs out of bounds after a gain of five. So, pretty athletic move by Wilson to dodge two Cowboys. Just under five minutes left in the first half. Wilson sprints out to the line. And hands it to Davis left. Davis... Cuts the edge, spins the defender, and falls forward. It's a gain of 14 on the play. His biggest run of the game so far. So the Cowboys go down and score a touchdown, and Seattle seems to want to respond. Four and a half minutes left now in the second. Rushing out to the line now. Wilson in the backfield. He'll throw. Surveys, throws toward the sideline. And they'll say he caught it. Gain of th 
three, maybe two for the running back. And that sets up second and eight. Under four minutes to play now, closer to three and a half. As the Seahawks come out in the eye, right at about midfield, Wilson will fake the handoff, dump it off to his running back, Madden. And Madden will get dropped for a loss of one or two. Also two on the play. Third and ten. And there's some extra curricular activity there. And Seattle wasn't able to convert their last third down attempt. We'll see if they can rectify that error here. And it was Sean Lee with the tackle. Just under three minutes now. Uh, as the Seahawks come out for this third down from the 45. Wilson. He panicked a little bit. Throws it away incomplete. Did he remember it was third down? Should have fought a little bit harder to try and find a completion. Carroll's got to be a little bit upset. The Hawks back to punt. Kicks away. Not a great kick. Ball sails out at the 27. And here comes Alfred Morris. He's been pretty quiet. No rushes or anything. Not really had many opportunities though with Elliott running wild all over the field. Just under three minutes to play now as Dallas looks to take a two possession lead here before halftime. Brian in motion. Prescott. Sack. Fumble. Balls out. Picked up by Elliott. Elliott trucks a defender and is knocked down himself. It's a loss of 11, but could have been a lot worse. And Prescott knows he got away with one there. And I thought for a second, after Elliott trucked that defender, that he might have been able to turn that into something crazy, but he ended up getting tackled down. And Elliott gets a touchdown and a fumble recovery. So, so far it's been Elliott's game. They don't have to run a play before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they try and rush this one out. And they won't. So they'll let it run down to the two-minute warning. 22 yards to go. Second and 22 for the Cowboys. Let's see what they do on the other side. Up seven. All right, we're back at Gillette Stadium. Seahawks and Cowboys. Cowboys have the lead, 7-zip. However, they do face a second and very long after a fumble that was recovered by Ezekiel Elliott. Elliott, who also has a touchdown in this game. Running formation for the offense. Takes the handoff, it's Prescott. And he let his defense his receiver too long and falls incomplete. Third and 22 now, I'd be very careful on this side of the field with this down in distance. See, or, uh, Cowboys showing run, they do run. And the backup running back's knocked down, Smith. 
It's a loss of one, bringing it up fourth and 23, and Seattle's going to get a chance to tie the game before halftime. So for the Seahawks, that fumble wasn't a recovery, but it created a series of unfortunate events that resulted in their ability to get the ball back for halftime. Back to punt from his own goal line are the Cowboys. Jones boots it away. Caught at the 25. And I think he called a fair catch. Here comes Wilson now. He's been in this situation plenty of times. Usually it's the end of the game when they need seven, but just before half. Running formation for the offense here. Richardson in motion. It's Wilson. And it is Richardson. Caught over the middle. It's a gain of six. And Seahawks in the hurry up. Wilson to Davis. And Davis gets about two yards. And that brings up a quick third down. Seahawks 0 for 3. Trying to get this thing. Third and two. And Davis again, and he's got his first first down. Seahawks are marching. Just about a minute and ten seconds left. Before halftime. Seahawks. Throw to Baldwin complete. Baldwin gets out of bounds, and that's the first time we've called his name today. Seahawks get a breather with the clock stopped. And that was a really good throw by Wilson. Pretty pass. Excellent catch. Gets out of bounds. Great play. Sixty-three ticks left. Seattle's used one timeout. They have two remaining. And they're on the Cowboys 47. Four wide. Wilson takes the Throw to his left, rolls to his right, runs up the field, jukes a defender, jukes another defender, ends up taking the tackle, and he's dropped for a gain of 17. So Seattle on the edge of the red zone, they take a timeout. Up. All right, Seattle with one timeout left, 53 seconds, and the ball in the red zone. They have all the time in the world now. Probably still hurry up, but you could run the ball here in theory if you have a play to run right after. Cowboys showing blitz. And they will. Olsen rolls to his left. And he throws a dumb pass, nearly intercepted. And that's a rare mistake from Wilson, a rare brain fart. Maybe he didn't see him coming. He, was he must have been staring down Lockett. As it is, stops the clock at 48 seconds, brings up second and 10 now for the offense. Wilson breaks huddle now. See what they were able to cook up. Running formation for the offense. Wilson in the shotgun. Wilson will throw. Throws and hits Baldwin. Baldwin slips tackle and gets the first. Drop down at the nine. And Baldwin should not be celebrating right now. 
They should be getting back to the line. They only got 30 seconds. So that's Baldwin's second catch of the game. And both have been on this drive. So clock running, just under 30 seconds. Where the Seahawks will break huddle. Three wide. Wilson under center. Wilson taken down, sacked. And Seattle's forced to take a timeout. 12 seconds left. Let's see if Seattle. We'll see if Seattle can have the guts to take another shot here, or if they'll just settle for three. Or they could just end up taking another sack and running out of time. No points scored at all. That happened against the Texans in round two and ended up costing them the game. Ended up losing by three. So they will take a shot here. Wilson hands it to McKissick, and McKissick is brought down at the seven. So five seconds, four, three, two, one. We're at halftime, no score. So Seahawks leave three on the board, or three on the field, I should say. Straight to the third quarter now, and Seattle just, that's a big mistake. Trying to be a little bit too cute, calling a run with, what was it, 12 seconds left on the play clock. They end up losing by three. It'll be, <laughs> it'll be really bad, really bad news for the Seahawks. And Jones boots it away. Caught by Lockett, who takes a knee. Ball comes. And maybe Seattle thought that, since they're getting ball first to start the second half, they would have a good chance to... Uh, even if they didn't score at the end of the half, they'd have a good chance to still tie the game. Still, I... That play rubs me the wrong way. Really aggressive. And here comes an audible from Wilson. Audibles to a run, it's Davis. And it's a good decision. Davis ends up getting eight. Brings up second and two now. Three wide, Wilson pump fakes and hands it off to his fullback who is going to get third and inches so they don't give him the first down. Third and inches now, Seahawks are now one for three on third down trying to make it two for four. I'd expect a run here even though they're, even though their play calling has been even grab in motion. And it is a handoff to Davis, and Davis has a huge game. Balls out to the 48. And he's averaging six yards a carry. Could have broke it bigger if he was able to uh, not stumble there. He could have. He might have been able to take it to the house. So 
So Seahawks are now two for four on third down. Running formation for the offense. But Wilson will throw out of it. It's the other Wilson. Luke Wilson will catch it and take it for three yards. So second and seven now on the Seahawks' first drive of the second half. And Garrett's pretty pleased about that because he knows if he can get a three-yard gain every play, you'd have a fourth and one, which is usually a punting formation. Baldwin in motion. Wilson hands to McKissick left. And McKissick's brought down, flagged down on the play. He got a couple yards. We'll see if he gets more. And the dreaded face mask call. So that makes Seattle into, or that moves Seattle into easy field goal territory. But Seattle doesn't want three. They want seven. They want to tie this game and force Dallas to score again to regain the lead. But can they? We'll see. Four wide for Wilson, who's in the shotgun. Running back to his left. Wilson dumps it to Davis. And Davis is brought down for a gain of four. Second and six coming up. And I was talking about how Garrett would be happy with the three-yard gain on every play. He's per, he would be he should be pretty angry about four yards on every play because four 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 is twelve. You start with a first and ten, you get twelve yards. That's a first down every time. Whereas three times three is nine, brings up fourth and one. And Wilson was gonna run it himself. Tries to spin away from some defenders. Brings it out to the nine, so goal to go in back-to-back -back drives. First and goal now for the Seahawks. Running formation for the offense. Wilson in the eye, hands to McKissick, and McKissick is able to spin forward for a couple of yards, and the Seahawks are down on the scoreboard, but they're up in the time of possession battle. Which kind of works against you when you're down. Well, actually, no, it does help still because defense is out there that much longer and they get tired as the game goes on. And Wilson, second and goal. It's the lineman in the back of the helmet, and so the ball drops harmlessly to the turf. And that brings up third and goal. will be their fifth attempt. Two for four so far, trying to make it three for five. It's a long six. It's about to be even longer as the flag is down for a false start. False start. Offense. Third and goal, Wilson. 
Rolls to his left, up the field, takes the ball himself and slides down short of the goal line. He's down at the five and that brings up fourth. Seattle's gonna have to settle for three here. Didn't see it. Took it himself. Had to slide to save his body. So what should have happened at the end of the second half this is going to happen at towards the end of the third quarter as Blair Walsh gets ready to kick it. And the kick's good. Seattle gets on the board now. Now they're down four. Pretty easy field goal chip shot. I know it's Blair Walsh who's missed field goals in huge spots before, but from that distance, even non-NFL players can learn to kick it pretty consistently from that distance. Or non-football players, I should say. Just under a minute left in the third as Seattle has the ball kicked away. Caught by Ryan Switzer, takes a knee in the end zone. And the ball will be marched out to the 25. And Dallas will come out for their first possession of the second half. Ezekiel Elliott, six rushes for 54 yards and a TD so far. Pretty solid day of work, if I do say so myself. What it doesn't say is he has a fumble recovery too, which is basically as good as a touchdown because it kept Seattle from getting the ball and goal to go, or in the red zone at the very least. Bryant in motion, running formation, Prescott will throw instead. Dumps it off to Bryant. And Bryant gets a good gain. Gain of nine, they'll call it. His first catch of the game, second and one, coming up. Depending on how things shake out, this could be the last play of the quarter. Running formation for the offense. He does hang it. He does hand it to Ezekiel Elliott. And Elliott gets the first. So that'll bring us to the end of the third quarter in this defense defensive matchup. Cowboys with the lead, trying to salt this one away. All right, Seahawks and Cowboys. Cowboys are up 7-3, to three. they possess the ball, and if they can get a touchdown, that might be enough to help them, or to set them up to right off into the sunset. Seattle, however, has their Legion of Boom out there trying to stop them. Running formation for the offense once again. I formation. It's a pitch to Elliott. And Elliott has space. Runs out of bounds after a gain of nine. Second and one now. And the Seahawks really have not been able to contain Elliott in this one. And that just shows it again. And to get to Elliott, you really have to beat the offensive line. And they've been unable to do that as well. So if you can't beat the line, you can't get to Elliott. If you can't get to Elliott, you can't force Prescott to beat you, and Prescott will hand Elliott, and Elliott's going to get close to the first, they'll call it a third and one. So the Cowboys are one for three so far, kind of struggling here in this game to convert. Trying to make it two for four. 
Prescott will throw here. And he hits Witten, his tight end. Jason Witten is going to be knocked down at the 45, and that's a big conversion there. Clock continues to run. Witten's got only 15 yards, but those two catches have come in really critical moments. Prescott to Elliott again, and Elliott's blown up. Loss of one on the play. They'll still call it a second and ten. Clock hits, five minutes left. Winner goes home, or winner moves on, loser goes home. Both teams playing for their lives, essentially. Prescott to Elliott. Elliott stumbles forward for a gain of about seven. Third and three coming up. This will be their fifth attempt. Two for four so far. And Seattle's going to get another chance to get the ball back for the offense. Running formation for Dallas. It's a play action fake, and Prescott throws it incomplete. Good defense by the Seahawks. So, under four minutes left, Seattle's going to have a chance to take the lead here late. Oh, they're going to try a field goal here from. The 38, it's a far one. We'll see if they can punch it through. Kicks away. And it's no good, it's short. Dan Bailey missed it. That is a huge mistake by the Cowboys. Seahawks get the ball near midfield now. And Wilson's going to jubilantly jog onto the field. And this is how Seattle, vintage Seattle wins their games. One mistake, too many by the opposing team, and Seattle capitalizes. Dallas made the mistake. We'll, now we'll see if Seattle can capitalize. Just about three and a half minutes left. It's Wilson. Dumps it off to Lockett. He's got about a seven yard pickup. They'll call it second and three. And that's his first catch of the game. Three minutes left. Four wide. Wilson in the shotgun. Looks to be man coverage. It's a handoff to Davis, and Davis spins a defender, spins around another one. He's still on his feet, and he's knocked down at the 39, they'll call it. And that's a big first down and a big run. Good spin move. Luckily, Cowboys had another man in the area because that second spin would have sprung him. Cowboys showing blitz. Wilson throws the pass too long for his receiver. Second and ten, clock stopped at two minutes and eight seconds. And this might be 
the the uh, next year, couple plays might decide this game. This could be the final drive of the game. Four wide. Wilson. Surveys, rolls to his left, steps up, and takes the ball himself. Flag down on the play as he slides to a halt. Two minutes and two seconds left. And it's Dwayne Brown, the ex Texan. Big mistake. That's a 10 yard loss, and it brings up second and 20. Brings the Seahawks out of field goal range as well. Although I don't know why they would want to kick a field goal in this situation. Might be in four down territory here. Wilson will throw here as he's alone in the backfield. Five wide. Wilson rolls to his right. Dumps it off to Richardson over the middle. And he's brought down after a couple yard pickup. Third and 18 on the other side of the two minute warning. Which we have just reached. And we're back. Seahawks and Cowboys, final game of round three. Third and 18, biggest play of the game so far coming up. Seahawks could be in four down territory. We'll see if they decide to use their fourth down. It's Wilson. And he's brought down immediately, sacked by Xavier Woods. They're going to hurry back to the line. Fourth and 25. This is the game, folks. And Wilson. Is kind of glitched. And that's going to cause a delay of game. Wow. Uh, unfortunately, Still fourth game. the play will stand. And I, I do these takes in one. I do these games in one take, so... That glitch play will have to stand here at the end of the game. It's Wilson, fourth and 30. It's deep, and it's nearly intercepted. So it'll be Cowboys ball. Seattle has three timeouts. Three timeouts. Seattle's not out of it yet. Dallas has the lead by seven, or by four. Can Seattle get one more stop? It's going to fall on the hands of Elliott. Just kidding. Prescott's going to throw. And he's got Swain. And Swain's down at the 22. And Seattle will be forced to take their first time out. So, Seattle now, having given up field position, 
is going to have to hold Dallas to three points here if they want any chance of winning this game. And excellent play call by the Cowboys. It faked me out. I was expecting the ball to be handed to Elliott three times instead. Play action pass. So, big time call, big time play. Here, late, trying to put this one away. Prescott to Elliott. Elliott dropped at the line of scrimmage. Seahawks take an immediate timeout. So 59 seconds left. Seattle, unfortunately, is going to try and get the stop here. But the problem is, is that they only have one more timeout. So unless he, unless Prescott throws here and the ball falls incomplete, they're going to get the ball with next to no time left down seven points likely Prescott to Elliott and Elliott dodges, dodges a defender Seattle takes their final timeout sets up third and six So third and six now as we're back. Dallas with a chance to end this game outright. They just need six yards. Seattle's out of timeouts. If they can hold them to three, maybe they can convert a Hail Mary or get some kind of crazy drive put together. But first things first. Oh, well, they're just going to take a knee here. Take a knee and kick the field goal. There's about 12 seconds in difference between the play clock and the game clock. To make it a seven point game, it's Bailey. Kicks away and it's good. 10 to 3, Dallas. 11 seconds left in this one. And Seattle's going to have a couple of Hail Mary attempts. Kicks away. Caught at the five by Locke, who's going to run it up. Out to the 30 yard line. Eight seconds left. Maybe one quick play, and then maybe one more, or just one deep shot at the end zone. Ball's from the 30, so I think Wilson has the arm to basically get there. If Dallas can survive this next snap, they'll move on to round four. And Seahawks are going to get an extra five yards, which will definitely help them. Marcus Lawrence finishing the game like he started it with the penalty. First and five now from the 35. Wilson should be able to get to the end zone now. Oh, 
Here we go for the game. Wilson. Throws it. And it's nearly caught by Baldwin. He could have taken it the distance. But he dropped it. He dropped it. Look at that, it fell in his hands. It fell in his hands. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. That is crazy. All right, definitely the last play of the game. It's Wilson. Throws immediately, and the ball falls down. Seattle loses. And the Cowboys move on. Let's take a look at the standings. As we've reached the end of this one. So there you have it. That, that'll be our round four. Jets versus Titans. Cowboys versus Vikings. And then the winner of that will be playing for it all. So was your prediction right? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to see the Cowboys in their next game, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to check out the link to in the description to see what the next game is. And like the video if you enjoyed it. And until next time, this is Phantom Roy saying, have a good one.